How's it going everyone? Recently, I created a quiz on this channel, which surprisingly very few of you got correct. The question was simple. What would you get as an output when you round these two numbers in Python using the built-in round function? A lot of you thought that some numbers will round up and that some will round down, but only 10% of you understood the real implementation. And the answer is two for both of them because round rounds numbers that have a 0.5 split to the nearest even number. And this is valid for any number that ends in 0.5. We can even change this to 101.5 and this to 102.5, and they will both be rounded to 102. And if this is a negative number, it will work exactly the same way. Both of them will be rounded to the nearest even. Now, this method of rounding is known as banker's rounding. And the benefit of it is that it reduces statistical bias when rounding many numbers. And it also reduces drift, since instead of always rounding up, it will sometimes round down. But let me show you what I mean by reducing statistical bias. For this example, we're going to import math. And here I'm going to create a function that always rounds up if a number ends in 0.5. I'm then going to create some values. Note that this sample size is miserable, but it will still be enough to demonstrate what I mean. And the first thing we're going to do down here is create a variable called rounded half up, which will be a list of type float. And this is going to equal round half up for each value in the values. So we're just using a list comprehension there to round each value and add it to a list. Below that, I want to grab the average. And to do that, we will sum rounded half up divided by the length of rounded half up. Then we can print the average. And I'll just add a comment here called round half up. Then below, we're going to do the same thing for banker's rounding. And we'll add a comment here, banker's rounding. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So this time I'm just using the built-in round function on the value for each value in these values. And then I'm grabbing the average. And at the bottom, we're going to print the true average, which is also known as the true mean. And this is what we would get as a result if we worked on the values directly without rounding any of them. This is the true mean. Now, when we run this, what you're going to notice is that when we round half up each time, we get this bias. The average is now 4.5. With Banker's rounding, the average is 4.0 and the official mean is 4.0. So banker's rounding was the closest to the original. Now watch what happens when we add more values such as 1.5, 3.5 and maybe 6.5. Now when we run this, you'll see that the average of banker's rounding is the closest to the true mean, while the average of half up is far off because there we introduced a huge bias. It's always going to round up which means we're bound to get a drift in our data. And Banker's rounding is the IEEE 754 standard, which specifies Banker's rounding, which is also known, or maybe even primarily known as round half to even, as the default rounding rule. In case you don't know, IEEE stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Personally, I didn't know that. I'm so happy I dived deeper into this topic because I had no idea about all of this. But IEEE is the world's largest technical professional organization. And it's pretty much the organization that sets the standards for computing, electronics, networking, and more. Now, you'll find this implementation of rounding to be the most common in computers. It's also incredibly fast compared to any custom-built rounding function you'll ever encounter. And I do want to mention that other rounding modes do exist in IEEE 754, like always rounding up or down. But round half to even is the default because it's unbiased over time. And I know that this concept isn't Python specific, but this is a Python channel, so I had to make it Python related on some level. But do let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below, or whether you have any information you would like to add regarding banker's rounding or round to even. But otherwise, with all that being said, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.